Hello again. Still June 25th. I wanted to show a video of a couple of things blooming in the backyard. We're supposed to get rain later today and most of next week, which is a good thing. We need it. Right now it's 98 degrees out here. But my crepe myrtles are in bloom. This is the white one and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Of course, the problem with crepe myrtles is once when they start blooming, they lose their yesterday flowers all over the place. Kind of looks like snow back here. And my pink crepe myrtle, if I can get a picture of it so the sun isn't shining directly at you is up here, in through the bananas. And the other thing that's blooming today that I don't get a chance to see very often is my crocosmia. This looks absolutely gorgeous with the sun shining on it. I got this from a friend. It grows like a weed here in Alabama. And I can't believe, of course, if you get a name brand, you can Google it. <laughs> $29 at Lowe's. And it's really a weed here. It spreads by bulbs and the bulbs grow on top of one another. And once when you bring one bulb into the backyard, you'll have it forever. I put a clump here and I also have a clump blooming over here. The problem with crocosmias is they flop. You can see the main clump is here and the stalk goes all the way to there. But it is pretty. Oh, and the other thing in bloom today well, there's a plumbago. I wasn't planning on showing you that, but I did. And here's the iachroma. It's looking really nice. I cut it back. You can see here it wanted to grow about eight feet tall, and I hacked it back again. I'll give you some idea of scale. It's a beautiful little flower. When it was sold to me, they said it was related to trumpet flowers, so I was anticipating large, pendulous, trumpet-shaped flowers, and they're all of the above except the large part, <laughs> but they look pretty anyway. It's a nice blue flower back here. And here's one of my gingers. There are thousands of gingers, well, hundreds of them. This is just one of them with an ant working it over. My vincas are still doing well. That's where I had the crocosmias last year. Actually, for the last three or four years, and I, they just got so heavy. What they, you have to do with the crocosmias is about every two years you need to divide them up. Otherwise, they get a huge cluster, and they just sort of fall in on themselves and don't do really well. And I still have my Fortnite Lily blooming. It blooms about every 20 days. It'll have another couple of blossoms on those stalks. And my white jasmine, still blooming. I had planted that like late in the fall last year. Bananas have gotten huge. Of course, that's nothing new. And the only other flower in bloom here right now is my Datura. Well, it's looking pitiful, but that's because it's nearly 100 degrees out here now. And oh, the news was yesterday. We had some rain in the afternoon. And I went outside. It was over 100 and the rains came and cooled it down. And so I came out in the rain when I was sure there was no thunder. 
and I uh, was walking around in the backyard and sure enough my turtle friend was visiting. So apparently he must live somewhere in my backyard. So I gave him a strawberry, which he ate. And surprise of surprises, I've been telling you about these large black grasshoppers that like to eat my amaryllis. Well, I had killed a couple the day before. Whenever I see them, they're about three, four inches long. I killed it, or I killed them. But I didn't know what turtles ate, so I picked one up where I had killed it and sort of brushed it in the grass and gave it to him. And the grasshopper was almost as big as he was, well, half as much. And uh, in any event, he ate every last bit of it. <laughs> and then he disappeared into the Aspidistra. So, there you have it for today. Stay cool. Bye-bye.